So, Globy, I got a new brain bender for you. What substance on your surface does NASA use to protect its astronauts in space? I'll give you a clue. It's all around us. That's right, sand. Traveling to space can be dangerous. And one of the main dangers astronauts face is extreme temperature changes. When the shuttle's in space and passes through Earth's shadow, the temperatures are below freezing, as low as negative 157 degrees Celsius. That's 250 degrees below zero in Fahrenheit temperature. But when the shuttle re-enters Earth's atmosphere, the friction can cause those temperatures to soar as high as 1,649 degrees Celsius. That's 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Imagine how hot that must feel. Anytime you, you have a spacecraft that goes into outer space, one of the major design challenges that you have is how to protect the vehicle when it comes back out of space and re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Robbie Kearns manages NASA Langley Research Center's Space Operations. Space Operations is the group at NASA that solves the problems of actually going into space. Engineers are involved in designing and testing whatever is needed to take astronauts to nearby places, like the International Space Station, or to faraway places like the Moon or Mars. One of the key projects for NASA's space operations has been to make sure the shuttle is safe and can be reused over and over. The shuttle is made up of several important parts. The solid rocket boosters, or SRBs, provide the thrust, or push, that lifts the shuttle off the launch pad. The external fuel tank carries the fuel to make the rockets burn. And of course, the familiar white plane-like piece called the orbiter holds the crew and cargo. When the orbiter re-enters, it re-enters at a very steep angle like this. And as, as the flow comes up, it wants to come up and then go over. Uh, and and that, that turbulence and that velocity of the air that moves over creates a tremendous heat zone. So, how does NASA protect our astronauts? Well, they do it with the help of sand. Think about it. In some ways, the desert is a lot like outer space with its extreme temperature swings. It gets incredibly hot during the day, but at night it can get very cold, and the sand handles those changes with no problem at all. So NASA engineers took sand and designed tiles to cover the space shuttle. That's right. The tiles that cover the shuttle's surface and protect it from extreme temperatures are made mostly of sand. The tiles really are a unique piece of engineering. Um, as you can tell by the way I'm holding it, they're very lightweight. And, and basically, uh, what people really don't realize is, is that they're just sand. They're made of, uh, of quartz sand, um, and it's uh, bonded together in such a way that it's, the, the sand is spaced apart within the structure, and it's, it's very, very lightweight. The shuttle tiles are an amazing invention. They're designed to protect astronauts from extreme heat. See? They even protected my hand from that hot flame. Now, unless you have a shuttle tile at your house, do not try this at home. And just think about how many of these tiles are needed to cover the shuttle. Now, there are about 31, 32,000 different tiles on the orbiters. Uh, each one is specifically designed and sized to fit a specific location. It's like a giant puzzle. Each piece must fit directly in the piece beside it. And with the irregular shape of the shuttle, that's no easy task. Today's shuttles are designed to travel to space over and over again, as many as 100 missions. So the tiles have got to be rugged and last a very long time. This is a lot different than the spacecraft first developed by NASA. When the Apollo spacecraft, that was the ship that traveled to the moon, re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, its heat-resistant tiles would break off and float safely down to the ocean. So the material that was on the bottom of, say, the Apollo spacecraft uh, actually burned off as the vehicle re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, and there was enough on it to protect it throughout the peak heating times, which allowed it to protect the spacecraft until it you know, splashed down in the ocean. The Apollo craft had layers and layers of tiles. When one would fall off, another one would be right behind it to take its place. So what's next for NASA's engineers? Well, they're busy designing the Orion spacecraft, which will be similar in design to the Apollo spacecraft, and will also have a similar mission, to fly to the moon. They're also going back to a similar heat-resistant shield, one that will only have to endure the harsh conditions of space just once. The moon isn't the only plan for the Orion. NASA hopes that one day the craft will travel to Mars.